All right, everybody. Um, we're right here with the Herb class over here in Dalton at a park over here. You can see it's raining. It's kind of warm. You can hear the chorus frogs in the background. Nice little wetland over here. You can see it through there, a little drainage here. So we're out here looking for amphibians. So we're just walking around, all the students walking around. We got a couple buckets. We'll put everything in we find and then ID it out later if the students can't do it. But hopefully they can ID the stuff that would be out today. Anyways, I'm just gonna start looking around and then we'll check the bucket at the end and see what we come up with. Hopefully we'll get a couple of different species. There's spotted salamanders here. Hoping to see it spotted, but just like the brown bag doesn't mean you're gonna find it just because you want to see it. So we'll see what happens. All right, so same spot. The last one I saw was right there, about two meters away. I was flipping in here and found this guy. So another northern slimy, uh, fairly good size like the last one. This is the fourth one that we found. I found three and then a student found one. So four total today. This is a good site for slimies. Uh, one of the other students also found a marble, so we'll go and put it in a bucket. We'll go look at that before the end of the day. But you can see they really like, anytime you get something like this with this bark that's falling down, a lot of it together, they really like this type of, I found a lot of them in this type of uh, microhabitat, we like to call it. Just this leafy, it's wet, especially with the rain today, it's really drawn them out up north uh, to come up to the top and yeah, it looked like a good spot and two of them within a, within a minute. So we'll keep looking around. I think that's about it for this spot though, kind of went through everything. But we're gonna let him go. We can get him to crawl into my fingers here. Now he's gonna be shy. Oh, go that way, buddy. There you go. All right, so we'll just let it go and we'll put the stuff back on top. So it can get back into its home. Try to get it back to where it was. Probably not perfect, but close enough. He's got cover. So I just picked up and moved that one slimy. And now you can see they're called slimy because they have a sticky secretion on their skin. <laughs> my fingers are, my hands really sticky right now. And that's a protection they have against predators. But yeah, really sticky. And leaves that slime on your hands. A little bit better picture of them. So these guys are really common, and this is the earliest one that we have here calling. So these will call, and you can see the kind of pattern on the back. The light's not that good in the camera, but they have a little pattern on the back with that black mask and the white stripe down the side of their face. It's pretty distinguished, pretty good characteristic to tell it's a chorus frog. He's not going to call for us, but. I can still hear some in the background. Alright, so Jared found this marble and now we're gonna let it go back where he found it. Marbles are good to take pictures of because they don't move a lot. <laughs> and bistomatas don't move like the plethodons do. All right, I went you over go ahead to and the spotted go. spot, but there's oh, yeah? not a lot to flip over there. There's um, no So well, it really just has to like dig, I guess. Yeah. There's nothing there's the wetland. Kind of like this. Didn't see any larvae in the water. What'd you find? Those are eggs. Look, you can see the larvae moving around in them. That's cool. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Good find. Excellent find. So we got some larva. Cool. What do you think that is? Duskies? So we found these larvae. Nicole found some larvae. You can see it move. You can see some of them move around. Yeah, you can see the larvae. You can see that one. You can see the spots on the side of its body. So you can see the larvae right in there. I wonder if it'll move at all. I can take a picture of you. Some of them move. <laughs> Cool. This I don't know what kind that is, is, but... I know! That's on this like, side. you just found, like, four... Oh, that one just moved. If you don't look... So, one of the, a pair of the students found what we were looking for, the spotted salamanders. We were hoping to find those, and they, and they found two of them that are one stump. 
So that's cool. These are some. These are ambistomatids as well, just like the marbled salamander. You see, there's another marbled in there. Oh, right there, and then they got these two spotteds. Yeah. So cool. A bright yellow. It's uh, in the wall of the bucket. Yeah, you see that one once again. They if they get water on them, that sometimes it's sticky enough that adhesion and cohesion of water with some climb up stuff. Spotted. Yeah. Nice spotted. This is the first time I've ever found a spotted in the wild. I didn't find it, so I guess I still have it. But that's cool. So we got a large one here, and then you can see the smaller one even has brighter colors to it. Once again, a bit stomatis. They don't they don't move around a lot. But yeah. Cool. Yeah, definitely have to perch these on a log and get a nice picture. Look how brightly colored that is. These are just cool salamanders. With, with, we still have marbles in there. So we can put nice. Yeah. Alright, so spotted Oklahoma salamander. This is a first for me. Hope y'all like it. It's so cool. So jet black and then the neon yellow. Spotted in the marbles. Yeah, I think he's going to. He usually talks to schedule. Why are they so still? I don't know, the big one was like super complex. Yeah, they don't waste energy.